What is up, all you elementals out there? This is Renan Elementor bringing you a Death Battle Reaction. Another one. Today we have, well, okay, I gotta explain something. I did do the reaction for Ghost Rider vs. Lobo, but it was on my other phone because I got a new phone. Hold on, let me turn on the light. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I got a new phone and I forgot to upload it, so yeah. This week it's got. I was like, God's so. <laughs> Dragon Zord versus Mecha Godzilla. This is going to be an interesting fight. Battle of the Machines. Battle, basically, of dragons. Now, I did see it like 30 seconds of it, but it was just the advertisement because I had to do something. But now I'm here. Now, here. who do I think is going to win? Honestly, I had I am thinking Mega Godzilla is going to win. Reason because he was made to combat the King of Monsters, and he is has the skeletal remains of the original Godzilla. So, and uh, Dragon Zord, I want to root for Dragon Zord, but I gotta go with Mega Godzilla. Seriously. Ah. Uh. I just don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I won't be mad if Power if Dragon Sword somewhere comes out top, but it's Mecha Godzilla. What are you gonna do? Anyway, let's get to the fight. Slash death battle. That's f o r h i m s dot com slash death battle. For hymns dot com slash death battle. Dun, boom, death battle. Whether they are benevolent deities or arbiters of doom, dragons are freaking awesome. Yeah, they are. Yeah, especially the robot kind, like the dragon sword piloted mm -hmm. by the green sword. Okay, hold on. And Q, the dangerous and mysterious Mecha Godzilla. He's with the movie. Movie. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, weapons, armor, and skills. Find out who would win. Ah, uh, that animation battle. looks so clean. After being stuck in a garbage can for 10,000 years, yeah. the evil Rita Repulsa was understandably pretty pissed, so she decided to destroy the world. Hey, I'd be mad too. But yeah. That's a hell of a hot take. And so Earth's guardian, Zordon, put a plan into motion. Five heroic teenagers would defend the planet mm -hmm. with their dinosaurs. They were the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah. I think a bunch of kids in spandex would have a tough time fighting an ancient witch, but they got used to taking out her weekly monsters pretty quick. Yeah. Like a normal nine to five, just with giant robots. Yeah, just. Rita had a yeah, just became happy for them. <laughs> she would create her own ranger. So yeah. Ranger, along with his robo reptile, the Dragon Sword. Da -dun, da -da -dun. I do know that song is pretty. It sounds pretty cool. Okay, sorry again. At 90 meters tall and nearly 200 tons, the Dragon Sword grew to 200. Back Even their Megazord. Dragon Sword got a heavy Semi sentient, submerged under the Pacific like Ocean over 10,000 years ago. People, but it explodes. Why do you have gunk under your fingers? To lick it, people. Duh. Ah, boomstick. It isn't just a cool headpiece, it shoots energy waves. And if these Zord feels like stomping around, Watch out for literally shocking earthquakes. Despite such long-range weaponry, the Dragon Sword seems best suited to fighting up close with its strong grappling arms and highly flexible drill tail. This drill is so impressive. It mm, only four arsenal. Four. Megazord uh, couldn't escape. Yeah, that thing's five swords in one. Guess teamwork doesn't always make the dream work. The Dragon Sword's pilot has even bested the other rangers in combat on his own. Okay. Is that going to play? Is that going to play a factor? The com are the uh, hosts of these me these? Hmm. Oh wow. Chickens don't like 
It's loud music. Ah! Ah, this is what they mean by a sharp note. <laughs> Okay, so it's durable. The Megazord was strong enough to punch a ten thousand <laughs> This Darren Pounder versus Voltron. A punch worth ninety million newtons of force. So it is durable. It can even fly past escape velocity and reach the moon. That's over thirty times the speed of sound. So okay. Okay, I, I gotta do something about that. The Megazord was thrown into this mountain which shattered. By comparing the known size of Dragon Force to Fortress and Mountain and applying the energy necessary for violent fragmentation against rock, we determined the destructive force okay, of sorry guys for moving around. So this is okay. So okay, Dragonzord may have a chance. The year was okay, Mega Godzilla. What do you have? Okay. Hey, Godzilla. Yeah. Both the uh, yeah and both the uh, the dragons are uh, yeah. So both of these like robots have fought th people that were in death battle before. Well, things that were in death battle before, I should say, not people. But uh, okay, the oxygen with the oxygen destroyer, which destroyed the original. Yeah. Probably for the best. Still, a weapon like that might have come in handy when a few decades later, I, another Godzilla. Yeah. Show. How many Godzillas are there? <laughs> oh, boomstick. Man had been the target of many different types of kaiju for years and had developed an anti monster defense force to combat them. Unfortunately, their super powerful maser cannons barely even scratched this new Godzilla. I just look at him. Uh -huh. Like the oxygen destroyer before, Japan needed a new weapon to combat Godzilla. They gathered their foremost experts in the fields of robotics, microwaves, low temperature physics, and someone whose work can only be described as cyber necromancy. Aye. Together, these leading scientists Mecha Godzilla. like nothing before it. Mecha Godzilla! Sure, technically this isn't the first Mecha Godzilla we've seen, but it's certainly the deadliest and the most unique. Okay, so, so, so it was given its I don't own think they're going to combine the. Kiru, a combination of okay, so I don't think they're going to combine dragon. like the abilities from the other Mecha Godzilla. So, Battery Life two hours. Mm. Controls via DNA computers. Boy, the light can Oh boy, it's way heavier. I can tell that much. 
retractable Assassin's Creed blades with an extra <laughs> wow. step. And just like Zilla himself, Mega G fires laser beam from his mouth. This twin maser cannon is twice as powerful as the maser guns that successfully killed other non-Godzilla giant monsters. Kiru is certainly Interesting. skilled in melee combat and is surprisingly athletic for its size. Look at it go! However, with its enormous arsenal, it is far better suited to long-range strikes. Like with its ultimate weapon, the Absolute Zero Cannon. Damn! Oh. So it's like a super ice beam? As the name suggests, it unequivocally mm -hmm. brings its target's temperature to absolute zero, or zero Kelvin. But this beam isn't just freezing its yeah. target, it's literally destroying all of its existing energy at once. A practically impossible feat of physics. This results in crushing the entire oh. target from within guys. at an atomic... Sorry about that, guys. Let's get back to it. Atomic level. Oh my god. Zilla! Now, speaking of which, Kiru is actually built around the skeletal remains of the mm. original Godzilla, giving them all the size and strength of the King of the Monsters. Yeah, that's so a thing. kind of like they're pulling off a robotic weekend at Bernie's with old man Godzilla's bones. Amazing. Kiru also utilizes biochemical and molecular-based DNA computers, which are actually based on real-life experimental technology. This infused Godzilla's own DNA Ooh. to improve operation speeds and give Kiru subconscious motor control. Sort of a simple AI, which lets it perform some limited actions on its own. Exactly like my own cyber goose. With the skeleton of a goose and some extra parts I have lying around, I say he's a masterpiece of modern science. Well, he's got two heads now, so do we call him a goose or a geese? It's a goose. Just one goose. But two heads make two goose, therefore a geese. It's a goose! Okay. Oh, yeah, this version's much better. Hero okay. <laughs> Akane Yashiro, a longtime member of the anti Megalosaurus force, and your standard self loathing anime protagonist. She mm. thinks she's worthless because she has no parents and accidentally got some of her friends killed. So now nobody really likes her, which is, uh. All right. But hey, cheer up, lady. You get to fight giant lizard with a big ass killer robot, and that's freaking awesome. Akane doesn't technically pilot from within Kiru, but rather from a nearby jet plane, which AC3 White Heron. I guess it's which good. Can fly over 900 kilometers per hour. Under Akane's control, Kiru has battled Godzilla several times and always came out on top. But plot twist: Akane isn't Mega Godzilla's only pilot. It turns out there's someone else behind the control. The original. The ghost in the machine. The original. It's the spirit of the original Godzilla. Surprise again, bitches! It's Ghost Robot. The DNA mind of Godzilla can <laughs> wrestle the mech from Akane at any point, causing her to lose complete control. Yeah. Another chance to trash Japan again. Uh, oh, I was going to play Factor, isn't it? Though it is strongly implied, Akane and Kiru came to an understanding of sorts, realizing that they were each shadows of a tragic past struggling to find purpose in life. Like college roommates. Hmm. Regardless of who is steering the ship, Kiru is an extremely tough machine. He's lifted and thrown Godzilla around like a sack of potatoes, and this version of the Big G weighed 25,000 tons. Yeah. Kiru actually survived being at the epicenter of its own absolute zero blast, and multiple direct hits from Godzilla's atomic breath attack. Which is even strong enough to overpower the Absolute Zero. Kiro is even fast Good. enough to oh, yeah. the atomic breath, which, based on this instance where an older Mechagodzilla forced the beam into space, likely travels faster than Mach 2 speed. Mm. Oh, wow. Kiro itself can also fly from Alaska to the middle Duh. of Russia while carrying another kaiju in just a few minutes. Given how quickly Kiru's fuel burns in flight, in order to make it, Kiru was likely flying around Mach 40. Wow. Sadly, the Mega Monster's biggest flaw. Its battery life is worse than the goddamn Nintendo Switch. While the White Herons can use <laughs> microwave tech to recharge Kiru on the fly, a full charge only runs for about two hours at most. And using more intensive features like jet flight in the Absolute Zero Cannon brings it to That's much also going to play a factor, isn't it? In fact, just one use of the Absolute Zero drains 40%. But who cares? When he's so bad, so he basically only has one shot. Basically, he can only put off one shot.
Well, this I'm still kind of grueling for Mechaga, thinking Mecha Godzilla has this, but I'm really I'm really leaning towards Dragon Zord having this. Will this be the first Power Rangers death battle win? I I kind of want to have the Power Rangers win one, so. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know. I'm st I'm still thinking Mechagodzilla has this. I just it's great. It's from the original Godzilla. It weighs a lot more. Probably, I think it, it looked like a lot more durable. So, well, whoever wins, I'll be happy because. I don't know. I don't know either of these two that well. So, so yeah. That's my opinion. I'm not going to say any more. Let's get to it. Hopefully, this could hear me over it. Weapon.com slash battle. But right. right now. It's time for a death battle! Let's see this. The animation looks clean. Oh, they're just starting this off right now. Hmm. Oh, the animation looks clean. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, but Q is more suited for long range than. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, okay. Play it smart. Detail. Man, the animation. I really love the animation here. Fire! Woohoo! Oh, this is this is based. Oh boy, this ain't good. Oh, he didn't use it. Okay, so oh oh yeah, this could be a factor because. And she's and she's not in it, so she this is still technically illegal. Oh no! No, Godzilla, it's up to you. Oh. Oh the oh boy, where but where's the other Zords? I know those are gonna be coming a factor. Yeah, there they are. Is this gonna be They didn't technically use the absolute zero thing, so Oh boy, is this going to be the end of Mega Godzilla? Oh no, he can't recharge. Oh uh, yeah, Godzilla size the strength of Mega Godzilla size the strength of Mega Godzilla. Oh boy, this is going to be a bad. Whoa! Is that it? Oh! Oh!
Mega Godzilla wins. Yeah. Yeah, well, Dragon Zord could match the Megazord. Who could lift a 10,000 ton monster? Mm -hmm. Mega Godzilla tossed around a 25,000 yeah. ton Godzilla. More than double the weight. Mega G certainly had the advantage up close. And also from a distance. Kidder's arsenal was overall better suited to long range combat thanks to a wider assortment of missile yeah. weapons. Simply put, Kiru possessed more options for controlling and ending this fight. Like how they both had instant kill moves, but only one of those depended on getting right up close. Plus, while fighting mode's max power wasn't too clear, mm -hmm. it can compete with the Thunder Megazord and Rita herself. Remember how Rita blew up an island? Easily one of the most impressive destruction feats in the Ranger's early years. Based on this image, we can measure the exact scale of the island. To blow that shit up, you okay. need a blast of at least 2.6 gigatons of TNT. So Dragon Zord's Ultra Drill Staff was likely in the same ballpark in terms of power output. However, this pales in comparison to the Absolute Zero Cannon. Ooh. Here, it's destroying the real-life Prince Hotel New Tower Ooh. and several surrounding buildings. Using the known scale of these structures, the energy output to destroy them must equal 128 teratons of TNT. Okay. It's, uh, over 49,000 times more powerful. And don't forget, Mega G once survived being in the middle of this blast. There was no way Dragon Zord could put down this tough Yeah, Zilla. yeah. Dragon Zord's arsenal and Tommy's skill certainly made this an intense match, but they were clearly outclassed by Kiru's awesome power and unwavering durability. I'm just glad they didn't let the fight drag on. The winner is Kiru. Mega Godzilla! Okay. Well, hey, Power Rangers history keeps on losing. The poor, poor Power Rangers. They cannot get a win in death battle. But I already seen this. Sasuke versus Hai? Hai? I have no idea. Well, I hope all you has enjoyed that reaction. Well, this is, it is seriously interesting because I have. I was, I was kind of hoping the Dragon's Orb would prove me wrong, but like I said, it's Mega Godzilla. So, I hope all you has enjoyed this reaction. Next time it's Sasuke versus whoever that guy is. My friend, my friend likes him a lot. So, Young Samurai. So. I, I, yeah, I have nothing else to add. Good job, Mega Godzilla. If I had to say the animation was clean. So, I hope all your elementals enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you all in the next elemental reaction I do. Bye!